So how's everyone's mental health? Mine has not been good. Hello. <sighs> so crooked, it's not even funny. <laughs> how's this lighting? Because it is 2.20, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm drinking caffeinated tea. Um, I've officially lost my mind. I can't sleep. And I thought that I would do a makeup look that I've been wanting to do for a while. And that is just like pretty makeup, okay? I feel like I have not had the time recently to just make myself feel pretty gl like glam wise, you know, like really glam it up. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm also doing laundry. So welcome to this show. I need to get a better sleep schedule. Whatever. I've been pinning these looks for a little bit and it's just like eyeshadow that like really, not the fox eyes, foxy eyes, whatever, but it's like eyeshadow that comes up near the brow and really just kind of lifts the eye. Like this one of Shea Mitchell. So pretty, it's smoky, and it's just got a really defined shape. I think that it looks really good with eye shapes like mine. We're gonna go for something like that. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I've been using the same neutral skin-toned eyeshadow for the last six months, I feel, and it's just not, I just wanna feel pretty. So. Let's fix this situation. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade two. Again, I just, I haven't, I just haven't been in the mood to glam up the tan. Look at that, look at that. This is like really nice full coverage and I like it with, <laughs> thumbnail. I like it with and without. This is a little crooked, so I know you don't have to leave it in the comments. I don't know what I'm saying. With or without primer. How are you guys doing? Are you putting makeup on at 2.30 in the morning? And accepting that, you know, sometimes maybe your life ends up this way? This is what you do now? No, just me? Cool. So, um, since, you know, like, how was your day? You can answer me in the comments. I'll tell you about my day. So, today I did a lot of admin work during the day, and then, Around 8.30, I went grocery shopping and it took me forever. I have a bug, I'm getting bug bites. But anyway, so then yeah, so then I came back here, put all the groceries up, I got so many groceries, and then I worked out, and then I did a little more admin work, and then I was like, you know, it's late, but I'm awake, because I had a Red Bull before I went to the grocery store at like eight. Oops. And now it's 2.30 a.m. and I'm on my second cup of caffeinated black tea. Something to keep the old, the old eyeballs open, you know what I'm saying? There's something that I've been liking to do with my makeup recently that's a little different. And I will show you. I will show you what that is. Pretty ladylike makeup. Okay, so I'm going to use the Chanel Ole Tan de Chanel. The tan forehead. God, I look scary like i have no life in me but anyway i like to i've been liking to use cream blush lately and i think i talked about this but i will i normally i would put the cream blush over like a powdered face just quickly and it never really never gave me problems but i've been liking to use cream bronzer cream blush and then powder my face i didn't feel like it was 2 30 up until i started setting all my equipment up. i always get like excited to film and then i'm like oh yeah i gotta set up all this stuff which is fine it's great i enjoy this part and editing but like the setting up of the equipment is a lot for two in the morning so i'm going to use the m cosmetics the blush drops and venetian rose i really love these you guys know this i've loved them for a while this is a new shade roll a little on the back of my hand take my beauty blender and then i just tap and this is all before concealer because who girl i need like a lot of concealer to just conceal because i have not been getting sleep whose fault is that it's mine because I drink a Red Bull at eight at night. It's not so pretty. I hope this lighting's okay. I hope that you can see the colors. But really, if you can't, um, you know, this is more of just like, we're here for fun. We're here for this fun time, not necessarily to see things true to color, even though that's probably important if you're interested in these products. This lighting is not, but you know. Here we are. Okay, concealer, hourglass, cream, and cream, the vanish 
mm -hmm, not too much concealer since it's already pretty full coverage. I'm, it's hit, I'm hitting a wall. Yeah, I'm hitting a wall. Watch, I'm gonna love this look and not wanna wash my face. And then I'll just decide to pull an all-nighter just so I can keep this on my face and then go to bed at like 8 a.m. because that's gonna be the time. I'll be like, okay, crazy lady, time to go to sleep. I think I might've dropped a little blush in my tea. Eh, it's fine, it's going on my face. Shouldn't, shouldn't hurt too much to go in my body because it's already, because skin's your largest organ. Okay. Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder in the number one. I have started loving to powder my face with this since I've been doing this method of just creams, you know? So I'm just gonna powder all of this down. All of a sudden, like I'm so tired that when I'm speaking right now, it sounds like I'm, I feel like I'm watching a video. Instead of actually filming a video, I feel like I'm watching a video. Powder it down. I love this powder because, and I've used it for a long time. I like it because it does look like skin it doesn't look too powdery and just to lock in that concealer since it's a little you know strong put a light bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just press that in do 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 I feel like I'm slouching and I shouldn't do that because you can't see me and the reason why I know is because I keep looking in my viewfinder instead of in directly in the camera like a real creepy narcissistic person and then i'm just gonna take a little bit with my fenty beauty sponge i love this for baking right outside the corners of the eyes it's just like such a strong line then you won't get fallout over here and since i want this to be glamorous and lifted on the eye you know <laughs> why am i talking like this probably because it's 2 30 in the morning close to three now god i gotta quit recognizing that it's that late. I'm gonna do my brows really quick. I don't wanna do them on camera. Let's get pretty. I'm gonna take Sauced, the number 15 refer brush, and shape out my eye, because I feel like this, this is my favorite brush to do, something like that. And I talked about it in one of my recent videos. Which one it was, I don't know. So I'm just gonna, since it's like above the crease, you know, a little bit, Start a little above the crease. Place most of the pigment right here on the outer portion. You know, it's funny when I don't self tan, I forget like how dark eyeshadow is gonna be. I really messed up my eyebrow there, but you know, it's 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 three in the morning, so yeah. I feel like I'm so tired that my voice is not my own voice, and I'm, um, yeah. I feel like I'm watching a video, not making one. And I'm just gonna take that up higher and higher and just, you know, lightly do this. Don't go in too crazy. And then maybe we can make something out of this. My eyebrow is just not wanting to behave this morning. It's a great idea to start doing laundry at any time unless it's like, oh yeah, it's really late and now I have to fold it. So well, maybe I'll just be a night owl or a morning a morning mix. Everyone's sound asleep and I'm putting makeup on and working. And I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and blend. Ooh. So now I'm just gonna deepen up, really, I feel like just deepen up that outer portion a little bit and then with another shade and I think we're good. So I'm gonna take the refer brush in the number zero one and I'm gonna go into low blow, which is right next to it. The key to this is just to keep your eye open the whole time. And I'm just literally carving out a shape, that's all I'm doing. I'm not going too low. So how's everyone's mental health? Mine has not been good. Ooh, should I use eyeliner? Why not? I haven't used eyeliner in a while, but I think, I feel like this look is pretty smoked out. Isn't that funny how makeup like changes? Like you think that you couldn't live without a certain step and then you're like, how did I ever do that all the time? I'm gonna take that same refer brush and go into low blow again. I'm going to Connect this and keep it, you know, lifted. Sorry if I'm sinking down. And I'm just going on my lower lash line. Up, 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 up. You know, used to with eyeshadow, I thought it was just like application blend. And then now I, when I do looks, which is rare, 
but when I do, I think more about just making a shape, you know, like just applying the shadows in a shape rather than just like, oh, this is where I put the shadow, this is where I blend the shadow. I'm like, ooh, let's do a shape. Does that make sense or is this witching hour talk? You don't have to just put it in the crease and blend it out. Like you can put it somewhere and blend it out. You can put it somewhere else and blend it out. For liner, I'm going, going to take the Makeup Forever eyeliner in the number M60. And I'm gonna line my waterline with this. This is like a perfectly true chocolate brown. I'm just gonna literally smudge that in my eye <laughs> lashes. And then I'm just gonna follow my lower waterline, like where it would naturally flow if it still went up. And I'm just gonna take this liner. into a little flick like that just to kind of enhance my eye shape but not like cause any weirdness and just smudge this up and back into the lower i mean upper lash line area i want it to look like it's a part of my eyelid skin you know you know how that subtly lifted my eyes i mean hello okay 3 a.m playing around fun. I'm just gonna do lashes, like blue lashes on. It's not happening. Got, I got way too tired, I'm way too quick. Okay, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier eyelash curler. But there's something that I've been using with my lashes uh, when I don't wear a falsies that I really like and I feel like it helps enhance my lashes a lot. And I forgot to mention it in my recent favorites video. It is the Blink Jet Black Lash Primer. I used to use this when I lived in Alaska and I forgot all about it and it came in a BoxyCharm box. This is nice. It really does help grab every single lash and then you put your mascara on over it or you can wear this as mascara and it's beautiful. Check it out. And then I just let that dry for like a second. Sorry, I've been looking in this to make sure everything's working out and I'm sure that's really annoying. So wait for a second. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I've been loving this. If you're not a fan of major lashes, you might not like this mascara, but if you are, ooh girl, it's so fun. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, every time I close my eye to put my mascara on, I'm like, ooh, dozing off. I feel like the second half of this video is like this, and I'm sorry. I am. Highlight. I'm going to take this, the uh, Ofra... Beverly Hills. I really like just swirling it around because it's a little bronzy, but it's still like a little cool toned. Look at that. Check it out. I feel pretty. I feel like I feel pretty. Powder bronzer. I've been using the Laura Mercier Bronzo 01 powder. I will do this after my highlight just to tone everything down and like meld it together. Like you still have like a nice highlight, but it, everything's just, it's a little more married. Unlike me. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. And that's the rule that I live by. I'm going to take the M Cosmetics Soft Blur Lip Pencil in Mink. And this is really pretty on its own. Blurred out, like smudged. But I'm going to use a lipstick. Okay, now watch it like just blurred out with my finger. It's so pretty. It makes it look like your lips are just this shade. I don't know how they created this formula. But it's the best one of the best lip products i've ever used especially lip liner oh my god it's one of those products that you find and you use and you're like oh i yeah i'm gonna always do my makeup with it like i can't i can't not look this good when i know that i can for lipstick <laughs> like my voice sounds very just like you know it's been the night party where everybody's like having a good time and then everybody's voice gets raspy and you know, like the Kardashians when they tie like this. What is that called? What is that called? Not vibrato. Not laryngitis. I don't know. Anyway, you're not breathing when you speak. That's what causes that. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in Bitch Perfect. Bitch, this is a perfect color and combo. I'm just gonna tap that in. <laughs> Braces. Look how pretty. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like, obviously, I don't look like Shay Mitchell. She's perfection. But I feel like it's the vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's the vibe, it's the vibe, it's the vibe. And now I'm gonna go, ooh, you know what would be, I don't know if this would look good. I'm gonna take what I put my bronzer on with and just kind of blend the outer corner of that eyeshadow with this, you know? Kind of extends it a little. Yes, yes. That's it. 
I got adult braces and I'm doing my makeup at 3 a.m. And you know what? It's fun and I feel like I just lived my best life. And you guys were along for the ride for tonight, this morning, whatever you want to say. Thank you so much for watching. You know, if you have anxiety, just do your laundry and do your makeup. Do your laundry and do your makeup. Just do it. It's fun. I feel like I've had a few drinks because I'm so tired. Without the liver damage, there's a little hot tip if you want to stay up all night. You do get a little bit of woo, you know? I feel like I'm going to get my second wind and I'm going to regret that. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to stop drinking this tea. Everyone have a lovely, dovely night, morning, whatever time it is. Um... Oh, wow. We just did all this, gotta take it off. I feel like I look less tired than I have in a while and it's 3 a.m. Okay, I'm really hungry and now I have to put my bed sheets on. You know, I've been getting these light blue bands on my, um, on my braces and they just turn green because I drink coffee. Like not a good, not a good green either. It looks gross. So we're, I think we're done with the, with the blue. But look at this makeup, I like it, I like it. I feel pretty, okay. This is done. Goodbye.